This is the Victoria's Fatherland Liebischen War Museum. The museum was opened in August 1953 and rebuilt in July 2013. The total plotage is more than 93,000 square meters. They are the main building with a total floor space of 51,150 square meters, 6,840 square meters of open air arms exhibition, the monument to the victorious Fatherland Liberation War, and the captured U.S. imperialist on the spy ship Pueblo. Displayed in the Meditator Arms Exhibition are weapons seen by the great President Kim Il-sung during the past Fatherland Liberation War, and 35 pieces of combat equipment of 23 kinds which performed great feat during the war. This is the captured under spy ship Pueblo, a witness of the aggressive policy of the U.S. imperialists and the war trophy. The Pueblo intruded into the sacred territorial waters of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea 17 times for espionage acts before being captured by the Navy of the heroic Korean People's Army in January 1968. In December 1968, the United States admitted the espionage acts of the Pueblo and signed an apology of its government to the Korean people which assured that it did not intrude into the territorial waters of the deep hierarchy in the future. As a result, resolute measures were taken to expatriate the arrested spies. Displayed in the spy ship are the intelligence apparatuses and historical evidences during its capture by the Korean People's Army.
exhibited in the Victoria's Fatherland Liberation War Museum are more than 344 items of historical relics used by the great person Kim Il-sung during the war, and over 120,000 items of valuable war relics, mementos and materials. Here is also a green cyclorama hall showing the campaign to liberate that zone.
This is Revolutionary Martyr's Cemetery on Mount Taesung. On Juzak Peak of Mount Taesung in Pyongyang, there are laid in state revolutionary martyrs who fought heroically for the liberation and independence of the country. The cemetery consists of a gate, commemorative tower gates, sculptural groups ground, education ground, and the district of busts. On the education ground, there stands a monumental stone inscribed with President Kim Il-sung's autographic teaching. There are also a monument stone inscribed with a pin, a bronze sculptural group of mourners, and a pedestal for placing floral tributes inscribed with a medal of Hero of the Republic. On the district of busts, there stand busts of revolutionary martyrs with a red flag for background. At the cemetery, there stands a bust of anti-Japanese heroine Kim Jong-suk in front of a red marble flag. The cemetery was opened in 1975 and rebuilt in 1985. It covers a total area of 300,000 square meters.